In this video, I'll show you how you can control and mirror your Android phone from your Windows PC, Mac, or Linux. Best of all, it's completely free, requires no installation, and you can connect through a USB cable or over Wi-Fi with no lag. And we can do this through a tool called SCRCPY. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Firstly, we will set up our Android device. So I will open the settings app. Then you want to scroll down to the bottom till you see about phone. In some Android devices, it's called my phone. You can search for it using the search bar if you can't find it. It appears right here at the top on my phone. I will click on it. Then you want to scroll down till you see build number. It normally appears at the bottom, but in this device it appears here. You want to click on it seven times till it shows you a message. You are now a developer. So we just turn on developer mode on this device. Now, click the search bar and search for developer options. Then scroll down the section labeled debugging. Then you want to enable USB debugging because we want to use the USB cable to connect our phone and PC. I'll show you the wireless method later. All right, our phone is set up. Now you want to plug your USB cable into your PC and the other end into your phone. You should see this pop-up message on your phone. USB debugging connected and this key. Click on allow. Now we have to set up our PC. Go to your browser and then go to the official SCRCPY GitHub page. Search github.com slash genomobile slash SCRCPY. I will leave a link to the page in the description below. Scroll down till you see get the app. Then click on the right software for your PC. I'm using a Windows PC so I will click Windows. Then you want to download the right bit on your PC. I will choose Windows 64 bit. Wait for the download to complete. Then open the file in the file location. Here we have a zip file download. I will go ahead and extract the file. I will open the file we just extracted. Go down, and you want to click on this file called scrcpynoconsole.vbs. Then click on allow to allow ADB. I will click on it again. And just like that, I'm now able to see my phone on my PC. I can control the phones using my PC. I can even open and play a game using my mouse and keyboard. My Android is just a secondary phone so I don't have that many apps here. But you can do a lot, like screen record gameplay, play games, and control everything in your phone using your PC. This is just how to connect a mirror and control your phone from a PC using the USB method. We can also do this wirelessly. Let me show you how to do this using over Wi-Fi. So, first, you want to make sure both your phone and PC are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And your phone and PC are still connected using USB. Then you want to open your phone and navigate to developer options. Under debugging this time you want to enable wireless debugging. Then click on allow. Click on wireless debugging. Then click pair device with pairing code. This will generate a pairing code and an IP address. You want to leave this page open. Then go to your PC. Go to the SCRCPY folder. Right click anywhere in the folder, then click on open terminal. Then you want to enter this code dot forward slash ADB. Then input the IP address generated on your phone. Click enter. Now you are required to enter the pairing code. So I will type that. Then enter. All right. Now the pairing is successful. Now you just have to enter the code dot forward slash SCRCPY, then click enter. Wait for some time and this code will launch your phone. All right, now we have our phone on screen, so we can now control it wirelessly. You just need to unplug your USB cable and you can move your phone around while still able to control it. Aside from monitoring and controlling your Android phone from your PC, there are many other additional features you can access, such as screen recording, shortcuts, and adjusting the bitrate, to mention a few. Let's take a deeper look at how those things work right now. Here we are back in the file explorer. Next, 
I want to open a file called open a terminal here dot bat. This lands us in a command terminal. Don't feel too overwhelmed. It's not all that daunting. I will show you how to use this. We will first type in scrcpy, then with a space, dash dash help. Then we will execute that by clicking enter on our keyboard. Oh boy, that gives us a lot of text on the screen. Don't worry, don't be overwhelmed. All this is showing us is the myriad types of options and shortcuts that are available to use through your keyboard so you don't have to do it on your phone. At the top here, we have options. Then we also got shortcuts and many others. I will just look for a function here and show you how it works. All right, here we have a record screen to file. So we can use this to record our phone in any file format. Maybe record a gameplay on your phone, for example. To do that, we need to enter dash r, the name of the file, dot the file extension, for example, mp4. Let's do that. So, I will scroll down, so we first need to enter scrcpy. Remember the command? Dash r, space, name of the file, so, I will call it mygameplay. Dot mp4. Then enter. Oh, I typed mp4 wrongly. So, I will enter the code again. Then enter. Now, it will start recording my phone. So, I could open a game for example or just record my phone for a tutorial. When I'm done, I will close it. And now, it shows recording complete. Let's go back to the folder. Now, we have my file right here. And I can now play my recorded video. So, you can go back to the terminal to see everything you can do here and try them out yourself if you find any shortcuts or options you will use more often. Now this is very important. I'm currently at 700 subscribers, and I really need to get to 1000 subscribers before the end of April. Please, click the subscribe button. I will really really appreciate it. Thanks. That's it for the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.